to let the uh, default occur would hurt average Americans dramatically. Why would the Democrats sit back and say, just raise it with no discussion? Nobody else can do that, and I don't think the American people want that. The United States government is about to go broke yet again. Not because it doesn't have money, but because Congress can't agree on how much the government should be able to borrow to pay its bills. This limit on borrowing is known as the debt limit. Republicans say they oppose any increase to the government's current borrowing limit without a commitment from Democrats to cut spending. Democrats say the government needs to raise the limit in order to pay its bills for things like Social Security, veterans' benefits, and federal worker salaries. Much like in recent years past, it has again brought the government to the brink of default. The debt limit is a form of something that Congress has always done. Allocate and approve what the government pays for and how the government pays for it. But how Congress went about issuing debt to pay for these things changed during World War I. With the total cost of the war unknown, Congress in 1917 created the first form of what we now call the debt limit, or debt ceiling, before formalizing it further with a new act in 1939. After raising the debt limit for years without much controversy, Congress initially blocked President Dwight Eisenhower's debt limit increase request in 1953. Unless budgeted deficits are checked, the momentum of past programs will force an increase of the statutory debt limit. Since the end of the Second World War, Congress has made more than 100 separate debt limit modifications, according to the Congressional Research Service. But as Congress realized it could leverage debt limit increases to extract spending cuts or other concessions, it led to multiple near defaults for the federal government. By 1981, Congress had raised the debt limit to $1 trillion for the first time, despite President Ronald Reagan's promises to cut government spending during his presidential campaign. So-called temporary increases or extensions in the debt ceiling have been allowed 21 times in these 10 years. And now, I've been forced to ask for another increase in the debt ceiling, or the government will be unable to function past the middle of February. And I've only been here 16 days. When the government hit the debt limit in September 1985, the Treasury Department for the first time took so-called extraordinary measures to stave off default, while still making payments to recipients of Social Security and other programs. By the time Reagan left office, he had raised the debt limit more than a dozen times. The government briefly shut down in 1995 and 1996, when congressional Republicans and President Bill Clinton feuded over the debt limit and government spending. I also challenged the Congress to preserve the full faith and credit of the United States, to rise above partisanship and pass a straightforward extension of the debt limit and show people America keeps its word. This brinksmanship has become even more frequent over the past decade as the government risked defaults in 2011 and 2013. The 2011 fight even led to a downgrade of the government's credit rating. Nobody, Democrat or Republican, uh, is willing to see the full faith and credit of the United States government uh, collapse. The opportunity presented by the president's request of us to raise the debt ceiling is going to produce what many people will believe is a complete change in the trajectory of the, of the federal government beginning to get spending under control. Listen, there's never been a president in our history that did not negotiate over the debt limit. Never, not once. Now, as Congress stares down yet another debt limit battle, some have suggested unorthodox ways of continuing government payments. Most of these solutions like minting a coin worth $1 trillion or invoking the 14th Amendment, have been dismissed by scholars and by the Biden White House. I believe that the only way to handle the debt ceiling is for Congress to raise it and um, show the, the world, the financial markets and the public that we're a country that will pay our bills. After voting to raise the debt limit multiple times during the Trump administration, Republicans now say they will not raise the debt limit unless President Biden agrees to spending cuts. Hanging in the balance is a possible government default. On the debt ceiling, do you support the permanent repeal of the debt ceiling, sir? 
A permanent repeal of the debt ceiling? What do you mean? Yes. You mean just say we don't have a debt limit? No debt limit. No. I'd be responsible. 